Uh, welcome back to USML point. Today's topic is primary biliary cirrhosis. This is very important topic for uh, USML step to CK and uh, USML step three. Uh, right now, I'm posting more videos on a step to CK and a step three. Uh, I'm not concentrating much on step one. Uh, later, I will post videos on step one. So here, I will discuss most important is clinical features, clinical presentations, lab findings. How do you diagnose? Best next step. Best diagnostic test most accurate test blah 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 okay uh, let me start with this primary biliary cirrhosis below you can see you have uh, you can see elevated alkaline phosphatase though anti micros anti microchondrial antibodies are specific but are not written on right though the biopsy is more specific but i have not i haven't written so i have written elevated alkaline phosphatase just remember this point this is very important point what i'm going to talk about okay let's start okay usmle point look they will give the history uh, look for the middle aged woman okay middle aged woman is very important point you need to see for if you are diagnosing pbc the symptoms of fatigue and the pruritus this is very common symptoms they usually give fatigue and the pruritus rest she will be asymptomatic most of the patients are asymptomatic remember because they come with the asymptomatic they don't have any pain in the right uh, in the left upper quadrant pain nothing or right upper quadrant pain sorry they will not have any pain or presentation but what they will have they will say that they ha she has increased elevated alkaline phosphatase this is very important asymptomatic patient with increased alkaline phosphatase think of think of think of primary biliary cirrhosis though this disease to develop to be full blown uh, it will take around 5 to 10 years like increase in the bilirubin level so usually in the, they give the history with asymptomatic with the alkaline for increased alkaline phosphatase this is very important lab findings what you need to look for other than alkaline phosphatase look for ggtp gamma glutamyl transpeptidase is elevated anti mitochondrial antibodies very important okay now the best test to diagnose is a biopsy best test to diagnose okay now you tell me which is more specific is a biopsy or antibody testing is biopsy remember biopsy is the best specific test is the more specific okay mm, okay what is the treatment also the same treatment as in a pcs as primary sclerosing cholangitis also also DL is nothing but um, also deoxycholic acid it inhibits the absorption of uh, cholesterol from the intestine so intestine is not, the cholesterol is not absorbed so cholesterol stones are not formed so the um, patient will not have recurrent uh, symptoms of uh, primary biliary cirrhosis though it is not a definitive treatment but it is very helpful in uh, symptomatic patients ultraviolet light is used to treat pruritus what is the definitive treatment this is very important uh, Definitive treatment is a transplant. Okay, this is very important. Definitive treatment is transplant. And the other thing, what you need to look for is also diol. Uh, this can slower the prognosis of the disease. Very important point. Sometimes it can be asked in your family. So you need to remember also diol lowers the progression rate of the PBC. Now. PBC that is primary biliary cirrhosis or PCS primary sclerosing cholangitis I think I made some mistake in that PCS I should be PSC uh, kindly I am very sorry for that uh, okay uh, PBC you see in the middle aged woman whereas the primary sclerosing cholangitis is not specific they will not give the specific age of the woman or they will not see it. okay fatigue and the pruritus are very common symptoms in PBC here you can see in the primary sclerosis and cholangitis they give the history of uh, chronic diarrhea or ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease this is very important and in PBC they can give asymptomatic increase asymptomatic patient with increased ALP he has come for a regular follow-up and you see increased alkaline phosphatase so think of PBC uh, PS, PSC there is a primary sclerosis and cholangitis you don't see and nothing like that alkaline phosphatase any elevation or something like that okay the antibody testing is a mito anti mitochondrial antibody is very important for uh, pbc whereas in uh, primary sclerosis and cholangitis you see p anka anti smooth antibodies okay so
so this is how you need to work on this this is how you need to differentiate it go through once again play repeat the video so that you can understand better let me know if i did any mistakes uh, thank you so much for watching my videos i really appreciate and uh, i will be very happy if you comment if you rate and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching my video